Uh, my bad if this is too much dip on the chip. And, and I, I do want to have this conversation with you. Pineapple's a safe word if it's too much. What mm-hmm. What are your thoughts on the the Ravion situation? Like, if we, would you change anything about that whole Ravion situation? Would I change anything about the Ravion situation? Um, absolutely not. That's nah. I, I personally wouldn't. I did everything that I. That was an. That is a clear. In, I'm not gonna say indication. That wraps up like on a bow. <laughs> the type of nigga I am, man. Like I, I got challenged. Nigga said that I was trying to basically have like a facade on the internet. Like I, I didn't want niggas to know the real me. When nigga, I, I promise you, I try to be nothing but myself twenty four seven. So fuck it. You think I care? Bet air everything out. Do it. <laughs> Then Ravion getting dragged into it. Which Ravion is with the shit with me and my BM and Ravion, or just yeah, me and Ravion the, in her her going on his okay. Twitter space. You, yeah, you know, yeah, 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 that, that shit. Yeah. I figured it was that shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I, no, I wouldn't change it. Am I upset with how I handled it? Yes. Would I change it? No, because I wanted to prove a point. I, I want niggas gonna see me the good, the bad, and the ugly. Nigga took a play out of Kevin Hart book. I'm not about to, I'm not going to fake it. I'm, I'm, I'm not, I don't give a fuck how bad and how ugly it is, nigga. I won't fake it. Because at the end of the day, whoever sticks with me at the end of this, after this, those are the people who are real supporters and real fans. If you can hear both sides and, hey, pick a side. That's fine. But at least hear both sides. At least hear what I got to say. And if you choose to support me, boom, there we go. So, you yeah, know, nah, I wouldn't change it. Uh, was it a lot? Hell yeah. Was that shit it's very stressful. Fuck yeah. But I feel like I'm stronger for it. I ain't gonna lie. I'm a better person at the end of that shit now. Yeah, I, th- I think it was one of those moments. And looking back, like it, it was definitely tough in the moment. It was some crazy shit in the moment. But I feel, and even with the conversations we had privately, I feel like you've come out of it like a, as a better guy. You know what I'm saying? So. The facts, 100%. I think, and also in that moment, I will say, nah, I, I lied to y'all just now. I probably would change something. I wouldn't have did. A, I wouldn't have probably did a Twitter space. I I would have did something else. I would try to find another way to do it, whether that was a sit down with me and her in a controlled environment for i I'm not gonna say for a stream, but I don't mm-hmm. know in the Discord or some shit or something. Just I would still would have did something in front of our community, but I don't think I would have did a Twitter space because. That was around a time I genuinely can say we didn't know how big we were. Mm-hmm. I didn't realize how big of a grasp my Twitter spaces and our online presence had. So doing that, I didn't realize how many people would hear about it, see the recorded spaces, it'd be echoed off and shit like that. Like it's still people to this day where if they get mad at me, they're gonna th- they're gonna say I'm a deadbeat dad. Yeah. So I didn't realize how big of a platform we had at the time. So going about it on a Twitter space, definitely wrong. I definitely probably would have been more open to the actual issue versus defending myself too. I, I'm actually thinking about what I would change. Yeah, there are things I would change. Yeah. Because I go like, again, I don't want to dive into the conversation we had as the four of us, but I'm just saying, chat, that shit got mm-hmm. so serious. Like us four, we needed to have a talk. About some serious shit, like some serious, serious shit. So I don't know that that was probably the craziest situation I've honestly ever been in as a content creator too. Um, not 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 that it was on some like brand risk shit for me, but I think the craziest part of the whole thing was that we was doing a live pod. You know what I'm saying? We were at the peer to peer set, just vibing, mm-hmm. having good time. Having a good time. Low comes in there. Yo, I, <laughs> I, I, t- I, I, shout out to uh, Jabril on, on YouTube. I was watching this clip from a Twitter space three months ago, man. Some of y'all need to get your money up. Fuck y'all, man. Like, it was a, like what? Damn. It's just going crazy. And, and, and like, you just added just on to that type right. shit. And now, like, you know, that, that came about. But it truly started off of, like, mm-hmm. Low just going back into the space archives calling out Ravion three months when Ravion hasn't done anything and now Ravion is mad and mm-hmm. now both sides are mad that that shit was just crazy bro 
That 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 should have been like that was so fucking avoidable, and that's what pissed me off too. It was avoidable, bro. Like we didn't even want that beef, and it just like mm-hmm. it's here now. It just right. happened. Yeah, I'll say um, I yeah, I definitely looking back on it, things I would have changed. It's funny seeing how we got in that situation just by celebrating how far we came. Like really just. <laughs> Yo, we're we're meeting up, we're linking up, and low coming that bitch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yo, congrats to what y'all doing. Y'all doing big things. Hey, yo, fuck you, bitch ass niggas that ain't giving these niggas they credit. I'm like, yeah, yeah, fuck y'all, yeah, bitch ass yeah, yeah, fuck Not y'all, man. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You right, but yeah, man, it was uh, I, I definitely going back. I w- I would change some things with that situation. Now, Ravion himself, hey, me and him, we've we've had conversations on the side. We've had private convos. It ain't as much static. It ain't as much heat. Uh, but yeah, shit, shit's okay. I still scout when when the XFL and the AFL the the AAF drafts came out. Best believe I sat in that Discord and I scoured every fucking round. <laughs> every round. I'm gonna say it now on pod too. I'm gonna say it on the stream. Fucking sat in the Discord and I went through pick <laughs> one through. 569, nigga. It, do I see a Ravion Houston anywhere? Anywhere do I see a Ravion Houston? Nope. <laughs> that bitch. I, I, I tweeted out, too. I was like, I thought niggas was going pro and just posted a giddy grip and just kept it pushing. Like, five <laughs> people knew what I was talking about. Because I said it. I was like, nigga, when you don't get drafted, I'm a, I'm a gritty on you, goofy-ass nigga. And, yeah, so I had to live up to that one. But other than that, yeah, man, there's no smoke. I don't even see that nigga spaces. I don't even know if that nigga do spaces. I went 